Where do like, you guys rank this backcourt? If they get Javon Quinterly and have Caleb Mills starting at the two guard, where do you rank this backcourt conference-wise and potentially even nationally? Gosh, with Young coming off the bench and Mikey? I'm going to say from the conference standpoint, I'm going to still put them second, and that's only because FAU has played together before. Uh, Elijah Martin, I can't remember the other guy's name. They've played together before. They just made this hell of a run. Um, there's consistency there. Right. So a lot of continuity with, yeah, with that, FAU. Yeah, that's a court. big difference maker. I John think. L. Davis and, and Davis. Elijah Martin are phenomenal. Like yeah. They are great. Be, they play very, very well together, yeah. but I think Quinterly and Mills are much more talented. talented and to TJ's yes. point, like – Maybe at the beginning of the year, FAU's got the better backcourt, but I think come March, Memphis's backcourt could be better. So much plays into health on that too, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with FAU. I think FAU is gonna have the better backcourt in conference play. But if you're looking at it nationally, that's such like a, a shot in the dark. But I, I mean, I can't imagine 25 of, more yeah, teams I mean, having a better better two man right there. I was gonna say 10 more. Uh, top 10. That's probably fair. I'm just trying to give them – I'm trying to give them some padding, yeah. essentially, just because, like, off the top of my head, I can't pull off the dome 24, 24 different backcourts. You hungry? No. You don't want any sausage? I think I'll consider some sausage. Time for a little sausage. Shout out to Bart uh, Bart Viktorovic because I freaking we're in with yeah with wh- Bart. I think we threw up the Bart symbol earlier and said, "Hey man, can you?" I can mean, you? within and 15, he responded within very fifteen quickly. minutes and yeah. got Quinterly added to the list to be able to put him in the sausage maker very very fast. We want some sausage. Let's hear it. What are the numbers? All right, Quinterly by himself takes you from sixty two to fifty one. I mean. So a bump of eleven, not bad. I mean, better that's, than that's rude. better than Bradley. It should have moved higher. We got we're going to get the better of the Alabama guards. Bradley is why he only started six games. Well, give me Quinterly. Now, absolute dream scenario. You add Quinterly. Mm-hmm. You add DeAndre. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is you add Jordan Brown. This is stupid. I knew you were you add say- Mal- you add Malco. That's your roster. Stop. You Whoa. know where, you know where we're at? A seven. Top ten. Six. Top thirteen. We are top ten, number nine. Yeah, like it's gonna be something With absurd. All of us, man. You add Quinterly, you add DeAndre, you add just Jordan. Twelve. Dang, so Malco and maybe she three spots. Give me What's just well? It it's. I mean, it also takes into usage, right? So when sure. you're adding all those guys, you, you add DeAndre, you add Malcolm, you add Brown. They're kind of taking minutes and production away from one another. So it, can I get a happy medium? Can I get right, Quinterly and just DeAndre? All right, Quinterly and just DeAndre. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think. I mean, right? You saw there the are shot with Malco, but 100. percent You still have a shot with Malco. If he wanted to go to St. Louis, he would have committed there. I mean, we I, wouldn't be talking about this, right? He's, he has all the opportunity in the world. I Yes. I, I think it's a very real possibility that Malcolm is back. But I know he's just a three-point swing, so we can go from there. All right. So Jordan just, Brown's the big just one. Just Quinterly and DeAndre. 24. Takes you from 62. So I should make it run a little slow. Top 25, 23. Okay. I was close. Which I will take that, too. Yes. What are we talking about? Yes. Absolutely. We were in the armpit of basketball. So say let's say no Brown. I mean, we know that we've had – I mean, we've reached out. But I think the big question now is from an eligibility standpoint, sure. which, shocker, if you're on your fourth university, if there's not some awful puff around eligibility, I don't know what. Yeah. So let's say it's just – let's say it's just Quinterly, DeAndre, and Malcolm. Are we getting too like this is going to happen with DeAndre? I mean, I mean, what's a real possibility? You've heard my numbers. I went from zero to 100 shoddy real quick when he said the NCAA reached out and told him yeah. he had eligibility. I would love to see the screenshots of the DMs from the NCAA. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, you think it was like, just was from it like verified yeah, NCAA? That's account. what I'm saying. Just like NCAA blue check mark is yeah. in Dimitri's <coughs> DMs. Like, hey, bro, you got another year. You have one more year. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's in, it's incredible to think about because like I was very confident they were going to be like, no, fam, you had your five. Like, no, got like, grow up. No. But he didn't have his five. He's only played four. That's not true. He's been. In Can you imagine for five a twenty-seven-year-old DeAndre Williams? Do you know how old Von Cornerly is? Twenty-five. Are you gonna say he's, he's yeah. twenty-four right now? I think, but he will be twenty-five. Right? College. Dude. You're talking about a twenty-seven-year-old that and a twenty-five men point guard and power forward that feels illegal at the collegiate level. Yeah, these are grown men. 